Welcome to class, everyone. Hope your summer was great. We're definitely actually going to be talking about that a little bit today. I am Mrs. Kilpack, and we are, I'm your geography teacher. And so when you hear the word geography, like what do you think of? What are some things? Think about the world? Good. Yeah, and then you can see I have a map here placed on each of the desks for you to look about. To look on. Mm -hmm. What else do you think of? National Geographic. Cool. Do any of you read that or look at that? They have really good pictures. Help you know the world around you a little bit better. Yeah. Geography is really great. So we are gonna we're gonna learn more about geography. And so each of you, I've passed out your worksheets. If you could write your name at the top. And we're going to be working on this worksheet throughout today. And we're going to be having a quiz tomorrow at the very beginning of class. And so we're going to prepare you for that quiz right now. So as you can see at the very top, it has, it has a place for you to look, um, for you to fill in what geography is. And so geography, does anybody want to uh, take any guesses? Geography. Yes, it does have to do with the world, of course. Um, okay, you're right. So, geography is the science of the Earth's surface. So, you can write this on your paper the science of the Earth's surface. And what lives on it. Yes, that is geography, the science of the Earth's surface and what lives on it. Let's all say it together. Okay, turn to your neighbor, the one closest to you, and make sure you got this. So geography, the science of the Earth's surface and what lives on it. Okay, that is what we're going to be studying. So I know I'm sure you went to probably many places this summer. Where is a place that you went? Where did you go? I went to Lake Powell. I went to Bear Lake. I went to California. Okay, awesome. Will you describe to the class what these places are like? Okay, great. Yeah, so let's, let's hear you a little bit. So you went to Lake Powell. What was Lake Powell like? Okay, it's a lake. Great. What else? What else did you see? Yeah, there's these beautiful red cliffs. Yeah, so we have some red sandstone. What else? What are some other characteristics? It's like you so you went to Bear Lake. So again we have a lake. What what's it like in Bear Lake? Yeah, so it's this lake and it's surrounded by mountains. That's so wonderful. So many mountains. Okay, where are some other places that you went? So you went to California. Did you, so where did you go to the beach or where, where were you at? Okay, wow, so you guys like going to water. So we have oceans. And you, uh, you went to the orchard, you said? Okay orchards. That's awesome. Yeah, we get a lot of our avocados and our oranges from California. That's wonderful. So, um, yes, everything that you've described deals with uh, some form of geography. So, the Earth's surface. What else was the Earth Earth's surface like in these places? Yeah, okay, so in Lake Powell, you didn't see as many plants. Why do you think that is? That there's like tons of water. Okay, so it's more of like a, a deserty type place. This is so good that you recognize it's like a desert. Okay, as we learn about geography, we're going to go into two particular parts of geography. Um, you want to ask physical, physical geography and human geography. So, 
I know that we haven't discussed these yet, but we're going to. You know, fill it out on your worksheet. But what do you think physical geography would be like? What 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 do you think that is in particular? Physical geography. Okay. You're right. So physical geography, it's it's not man-made, so it's just, it's already been there. So like our mountains, like a bunch of people didn't go and dig and haul a bunch of dirt right there, right? Like what, what forms mountains? Does anybody know? Yeah, tectonic plates. It's also something that we'll learn about a little bit later. So that's what physical geography is, is um, the natural process. Yeah, so you'll want to fill that in also so that you can be prepared for tomorrow's quiz, but also for an activity that we're going to get to in just a little bit. So we made a list, right, of some of the places that we've been um, over the summer, which from this definition, the natural processes of the earth, so natural, not man-made, which one of these or a couple of them, which are would you describe as a physical geography characteristic? Talk with your neighbor. All right, so from what you decide, how many of you think a lake is a physical characteristic? Wow, everybody. You're right, it is. Um, but I guess with a lake, we have to be careful because sometimes lakes, like even Lake Powell, they made a dam, right? So it was a river, and then they created a dam. And so a lake could also be described as a human characteristic. So we're gonna get to that in just a second. Okay, so red sandstone. Is that a physical characteristic? Yep, it is. So what about mountains? Mm -hmm. Oceans, did someone create the ocean? Or did man maybe? No, okay, so it's natural physical. What about orchards? What did, okay, you told us that you saw orchards. What are orchards? All right, a bunch of, yeah, okay, so saw a bunch of grape vines um, and apple trees. So those are planted by humans. So that actually is not a physical geography characteristic. It's not, um, man had to do with it. So human geography, let's move on to that next part. What is human geography, do you think? Okay, so you're right, let's, let's write the definition. So it's the impact and behavior of humans, of people, and how they relate to the physical world. And how they relate to the physical world. To the physical geography. Okay, right? So humans, the impact and behavior of people and how they relate to physical geography. Does anybody have a question about that one? So let, let's talk about this for a little bit. We live in Provo. What are some physical and human characteristics of Provo? Just You can just shout them out. All right, so we have Provo. All right, we have the mountains. Utah Lake, ew, just kidding. It's not gross, it's beautiful, but it's just not very deep, so it looks kind of gross. Yeah, Provo River. These are great. So far, what type are you describing right here? What um, are these physical or human characteristics? Okay, why do you why do you say physical? Yeah, these are all natural processes of the earth. The earth made these. Oh man. Okay, let's let's get into human.
a little bit more on what, how have humans impacted Provo? How have we kind of changed the Earth's surface here? Yeah, there's tons of buildings. We have buildings, what else? Buildings, yep, roads. I'm sure you got here on some, what else can you think of? Trails, yeah. So trails helps us get into the mountains and stuff. Yeah, these are all great examples. Okay, now we're gonna get into groups. So this table right here, you're gonna be a group, so all four of you together, and you four together, and you four, 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 and four. Okay, and I know this is one of, um, that some of you may not know each other. So before you even start your discussion in your group, be sure to introduce yourself, okay, to, to each other. And then as you work together, call each other by name, okay? So what I have here is some pictures for you of um, some human and physical characteristics of geography. So um, in your groups, you're going to sort them into to piles, okay? What ones do you think go where? So let's look into that a little bit. Take about five minutes to sort these and, and see if you can get them in, in good piles, okay? So five minutes to do How's it going over here? Yeah, let's see your piles. Ooh, so how can you put, how can you put these ones together? Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Um, what are, what are some similarities that they share besides water? Are there other similarities? Okay, yeah, you're right. That's really good. Are there any that you're kind of stuck on? So you don't know what pile to put them in? Okay, well keep up the good work. All right, how are we doing over here? Was it a little bit more difficult for you? Here, um, let's look at your worksheets. Good job, that's very good writing. You're doing good. Hey, and be sure, like, tell each other, why are you putting them in the groups that you are? So if you are putting a certain picture in a pile, what's your reasoning? And let's talk about that more as a group, okay? Yeah, those are the kind of things you can be discussing right now. Awesome. Good job. Okay, let's say five minutes is over. All right, so um, can I have two people from two different groups come and share with the class why you, um, what piles you made and why? Is anybody feel brave enough to do that? All right, let's all give a round of applause for them, yes. Okay, come on up, share with the class. Why did you put those pictures in that pile versus the other one? Okay, great. That's awesome. Okay, do you think, though, that that picture could go in the other group? And eh, not so much. Okay, how come? Why wouldn't you put it in the other one? Oh, because that one has buildings and this one is just like totally not. All right, good. So what, from these piles, um, from the pictures that they just showed us, um, what, was that pile mainly physical or human geography, would you say? Yeah, physical, for sure. Good job. You're really understanding this. So, um... As we continue, we're 
there's other definitions on your paper. And we're gonna go through those now as well in preparation for your quiz tomorrow. And then we'll, we'll move on to some other stuff about regions. Cause there's some parts of the world that have a lot of similarities. And so we're gonna learn how we can characterize those.